Welcome back, peeps. Yep. Peepies. And we are about to go on another, uh, attack another bug. Mm. See, this is why it's not overkill. It can eat your Pikmin easily. Mm. Pikmin. Oh, wait, no, those are bug Sorry. Kill him! Did you hear the chewing noises? Yeah. Uh, I don't think you lost If one. there's three chewing noises, then that means you're too late. Oh. This game gets real annoying real fast. I'm sorry, but it really does. Shut up, Chip. The ship is annoying, like, uh, seriously. What happens if you toss him in the flower? You'll see. Uh. Oh, they're turn. Okay. Purple. They're fat. <laughs> buggers, aren't they? Uh huh. They're very strong, and they can carry ten times their weight. Well, yep. ten times. They their carry power. the strength of ten regular Pikmin. Of course, it wasn't. It's new. Pick up them Pikmin. Good one. Now there's a good, there's a advantage and a disadvantage to these Pikmin. The advantage is they're strong, but the downside is they're slow as crap. <laughs> you're slow as crap when you have constipation. <laughs> you remind me of that um, monster from uh, Donkey Kong Country on our last walkthrough. Which one? Uh, the 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 ah, uh, Crusher. Crusher. Oh. <laughs> See how slow that is? You got 101, don't you? Oh, 130! Look at that! Look at that! Look! Look over there! Look at him! They're like, it's like a flower! Oh. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> Just go through them! Oh, you should see what they look like when they carry the second half of those. They completely look like a flower. Actually, it looks like a mohawk. Well, right now it looks like a mohawk. Dude, they just disappeared. Huh? For a second. They, like, disappeared for a second. You want to get two? Uh, ah! like I said, beasts are not worth very much of a profit. Olimar is almost dead. Well, he's not almost dead, but he's taking uh, no. damage. But yes. Damage, yes. Death, no. Okay. Now, with this, we can move on to the next area. I'm gonna move. Yeah. Name? Spherical Atlas. Japan. It was got the good side. We got the good side. I really want to go there someday. It'd be really cool if we both went. Retrieving data. Err. No. <laughs> yeah, that's all it says. It's like. <laughs> it's annoying. Incoherent crap. And that noise means that there are no more treasures left. Yep. Man, Pikmin need to lose weight. They do. <laughs> and we're walking faster than both of them. Uh, see, see, they walk and never mind. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Now we're walking faster than they are again.
And here we run into a geyser. That would take us back up, right? Yep. Astounding! Don't you just find everything astounding, you little... Shit. Shit. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Chinchilla. Sensors indicate it has enough power to launch you into the air. Well... Of course. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Yeah. At least he's cap well, better than Captain Crunch, right? Mm -hmm. Cause we know. We all know he ain't any good. We actually know a Captain Crunch. We do, and he's really good. He's an a hole. Uh, that's three treasures. Hey, did you know you can change the version? Yeah, I do. Mm. And you can even change the language that it's Japanese, but... How do you hear its cry? Can you hear its cry? Well, when you select, um... This? Pokemon. No, not that. Like, when you go to one Pokemon and then go back. Ah, uh, I gotta hear it then. I got headphones, though. Because I want to hear this. The, uh... The formidable Pokemon's cry. We must celebrate your first successful spelunking and Sir Plunking. Splunking, I guess. I don't know. Annoying again. Do that type. What does this do anyway right here? I don't know, I don't know what that does. Oh, it might be a card where you can scan it and it might do something. Oh, okay. Uh, this part doesn't make sense, because... When the day is done, um, where do they go? Like, where do they fly during space, like, during the night time? I don't know. Do they just fly into open space or back to their... I don't think they would go back to their planet, because that would take quite a while. That is sure is a mystery. Or do they just float like randomly in the air? An AR viewer. Do you have an AR? Whoa. Do you have Did you just AR? take a photo? Accidentally, but it's all good. Oh yeah, check this out. Uh. Uh. Cool. Now I gotta find my formidable Pokemon again. We haven't lost any Pikmin so far, that's good. Baby steps first, Olimar, playing well. And now we move on to our next area, the Awakening Wood. Search. Type. Water. Carrying. The Awakening Wood. <laughs> Discipline. Here it is. Dash this time. Now this is one of the best places to be. Because you get to train your Pikmin, collect berries. Uh, berries, well... It should please you to know the purple Pikmin are lodged safely in my hole. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said hole. Hole, hole, not hole. Yeah. Because that's just wrong. <laughs> I'll see what Nintendo comes up with. I gotta get black and white. Or white. Black hole. Louie, what are you doing? Jeez. What? Look at him fly! <laughs> <laughs> Got an army of them. Of course. As opposed to not. Poor flower. Great. Stupid shit makes a stupid tip. Another one. We know. Stop your lessons. Okay, I definitely really need to get this game. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna take down some more bulb orbs. 
Oh, oh cool. Pikmin. Well, I didn't lose any Pikmin, but you should check this out. What purple Pikmin can do. Hey, no stowaways. Hey, Dirk. Oh. Yep. Now that was overkill. Strawberry. Are they gonna fall? Yep. Oh no, they just kind of climbed. We just knocked the crab. Those shearwig. No, no, those aren't shearwig. They're sh sheer grub. That's what they're called. Hmm. Sheer grub. They're female sheer grub. Female sheer grub can attack, but male sheer grubs they can kill your Pikmin. And sheer wig, they can fly yep. and kill your Pikmin. And now let's see what they na name it for strawberry. Name Sunsea Berry. Makes sense. Yeah, and, and we will continue that part in our next video. Johnny. See ya.